Hey guys, this is my cube collection in chronological order. Um, I got this about two years ago from our Dollar Tree piece of crap. Um, missing these three. And I was going to get another one just to make it a Siamese cube, but they were out, so I couldn't do that. Um, so yeah, I just have this around just in case I find another one. I can just, I don't know, make a fun mod or something. I don't know. Then next I got about a year and a half ago at Toys R Us I got um, Rubik's Jr. I lubed it with silicone and it works great. So Rubik's Jr. And for Christmas last year um, got a Rubik's 360. Solved it about five times. It's, it takes me like ten minutes. Can't stand it. It's way too hard. But uh, it's you know, nice to have in the collection, I guess. And then about yeah, about a year ago, I got a normal Rubik's cube. Um, it's scrambled right now, and um, this is the first thing or the second thing I ever learned to solve. First, I learned the junior, and then I was sick for two days, so I learned this. And I think I got my time down to a minute in about a week. So, yeah, it's really fast. Rubik's brand. It's my second fastest Rubik's brand, I think. So, fun cube. This, <clears throat> I went to Toys R Us to get a 4x4. They didn't have any, so I got this for about 15 bucks. It's a piece of crap. It's a Rubik's slide. Um, it's not fun, really. I don't really recommend it unless you just want to have something for your collection. I never play with it, so yeah. And then I finally got the store by four, and I think it. Yeah, I ordered it on Amazon. It turns pretty well. It locks up a little bit. Um. Uh, two pieces broke that. Here, let me see. That one and that one I broke off, but I grilled them back on. Works fine now, but I don't play with it often. And then I got another 4x4 because because the other one broke. It's actually pretty small. It's a Caillou mini 4x4, so it compares, and it's pretty small. Um, I played with this a lot, actually. It's the first four before I ever solved, but it's missing a cap. So if you have a Caillou cap laying around, PM me, please. <clears throat> and then in the same package, I got two two by twos, the Lanlan, which I this is my main two by two, and I'm not sure what it is. This one is. I've heard YJ, I've heard QJ, I don't really care, it's, it's cool, that's texture tiles, so yeah, if you know what it is, comment or PM me, and then next I got three Rubik's brands, um, because I want to do some modding, so what I did was this one, I tried to do cat mod, before I was actually into modding and I didn't understand that um, it wasn't adjustable, you have to get a DIY to do that, which is really stupid. So it just broke and I lost some of the pieces, so this is what I salvaged. And then I got these two and I made them into, Siam into a Siamese cube, but I took it apart and this one is impossible to trip pretty much, it's really hard to do. And this one, um, some of the stickers don't match, if you can't tell. Let's see, blue. Right there, it doesn't match, but it's crazy fast. Um, I lubed it with silicone, and it's really fun. It's, it was my favorite speed cube before I got mini DN shanks. So then, uh, Rubik's 30th anniversary wooden cube. Not much to say about it. It's just cool for the collection. Then when I went to Germany last spring break, I got three new puzzles. I got the I don't know how to pronounce it, I think it's Rothenberg, or something like that. Rothenberg. Um, scenery cube. 
So that's fun to have. It's cool on my shelf. I got this. There's like four, I think, euros. I don't know if Swiss francs or not. It was four something. And it's like dollar store quality. Like you, you could probably break it easily, but it turns pretty well. Locks up a ton now, but just single turns, it turns really well. And then I got a mirror box colors on it. Um, at this air and space museum type thing that was in Germany. I don't remember what town, but this is turned really well actually. I haven't moved it, but it just locks up a little bit, but it turns pretty well. So this is fun to have. People don't understand that you can solve it like three by three. It's hilarious to watch them try. Um, and watch their reactions when I do. Next, I got a bunch for my birthday for like mm, 50 bucks, I think, on Amazon. I got a Landland Boy Cube. Yeah. I'm not very good with it. It's a parody, but it's fun to solve every now and then, I guess. I got a floppy cube that broke, and then I tried to. I burnt it for some reason. I think it was. I think it was one of my friends actually, I don't know. Uh, the pieces that do turn turn very well though. I was supposed to get one, a new one from E3 Cube Store for Christmas, but they were out, so that was kind of depressing, but whatever. What happens happens, I guess. So now I just keep this on my shelf and try to hide the burnt side. Then uh, I, think a Q, I think it's QJ, a QJ 2x2. Turns very well. I've adjusted it because it was way too loose and it popped, which I didn't think these could pop very like very easily. But it's very fun to do. I, I didn't try solving it for about a month. It was still in box, and then I finally unboxed it and played with it, and it was easy to solve. So and then I got I want to say QG. I'm not sure, but it's a skew clicking mechanism. Really fun. Um, I use the uh, monkey dude tutorial the one algorithm and I love it then I got a QJ 5x5 I think it's QJ yeah QJ 5x5 still scrambled haven't learned to solve it haven't tried um, solved it once using the cube book but otherwise I just haven't tried QJ Pyraminks not very good with them, but I like it. It's fun. Uh, I think it's a Guhong, but color Diane. It's either a Guhong or a Xantri. I'm pretty sure it's a Guhong now. That's what that that looks like. In a corner. So yeah, I think it's a Guhong. Tell me in the comments if it's not. I got a QJ Mega Minx after my birthday, but I'm a week and a half later with my birthday money. I got a QJ Mega Minx. It's scrambled. My friend was over and he scrambled it trying to solve it. You know, just not to do a Rubik's Cube, so I don't see why I did this. And it's, I don't know, it's one of my favorite puzzles. It takes me a little while, like four minutes. I'm not very good, but it's really fun. Yeah. And then about two weeks after that, I got three new things. I got two ice cubes. I was trying to order one with gift cards from Barnes uh, and Noble, but I accidentally hit two, so I had to use my parents' <laughs> credit card for tax and shipping so they weren't happy about that but this one turns fine this one is a little bit stiffer but yeah and I got Gordian's Knot I haven't memorized it yet don't really want to it's cool to solve with the booklet my friends like to do this one I'm watching movies and stuff so I'll let them play with this one out of any of them then about a month later I got an Astros cube because I, I really like baseball and I like the Astros so Figured I should add that to my collection. And then at Hastings, um, a local video store, I got a Bob Marley puzzle cube. It's really fun. It's really fun to have. I like Bob Marley. I saw it a couple times because I, my friends scrambled up thinking that it's easy. as easy as a Rubik's cube, but it's a lot harder because of the pictures. But, um, yeah, it's fun. It actually turns pretty well for a big one. And then for Christmas, I got a bunch. Um, I ordered 16 cubes, but I only got 13. Three of them were, were uh, already 
purchased by the people too many times from E3 Cube Store. It was the F2O, um, Super Floppy Cube, and um, there's one more that I ordered that they couldn't get to me. I was a little bit bummed about, but if I can't remember it, I guess it wasn't a big deal. But I got a, I think it's QJ Floppy, or not Floppy, sorry, uh, a rounded 3x3. Turns amazing. Definitely a good speed cube, surprisingly. So I got that, and um, Pyromorphics, <clears throat> Pyromorphics, uh, let's say Moji, I'm not sure, no, no not Moji, I don't know the brand, they're, they're smooth, stickers, no clicking, just a normal rotation, so I'm not sure what, what brand it is, it's all a couple times, but um, not very good at it, I haven't looked up a tutorial, I heard it's like a 2x2, two two, so that's how I've been trying to solve it. But I always get mixed up on the U turns, so pure morphics, and then a QJ rounded four by four. This thing's really stiff. It's scrambled because I took it apart because I was gonna use silicone on it, but then I decided to do a collection video, so I should put it back together. Scrambled. Um, I'll probably do a review of it after I after I uh, move it up. So QJ circular four by four, or not circular, rounded. And then a YJ Crazy Foot turns amazing, very well. Um, probably my favorite puzzle because it's just <clears throat> probably my favorite puzzle because it's so big and just a novelty thing to have, you know. So my best with it, it's like a minute and ten. It's not very good at all. I don't use Frederick. I use Beginner, and I can get down to like twenties and thirties with it. But um, this takes me forever because I have pretty big hands, but. Uh, it takes me a while, so why do a piece of it? And then I got a magic. I'm not sure what brand it is, uh, but one of the strings came off, so I took the whole thing off. Figured I should learn how to restring it. This is the logo. Um, it came out of box, or it came in an Asian box, and I don't know how to read whatever writing it's in. So if you guys can tell me what this is, that'd be great. That in the comments or PM me, whatever. So, yeah, I'll be restringing that soon. If it strings. And then I got the Mini and Shang White. Turns, it turns okay, but it feels like it's gonna pop. And I tension this thing like crazy, really tight. And it still feels like it's gonna pop, so I'll probably have to work on this. But my favorite thing from, from Christmas is definitely. The rainbow set of mini min and shades. See, I've, I've YouTube this. I haven't seen anyone, but uh, I think it's Rubik's for sale. Yeah, Rubik's for sale. She has them. And she said they're awesome, and they are awesome. Um, they lock up a little bit. Um, my favorites are the red one. This one is just insane. I've gotten a sub 20 with beginner's method on this thing. That's how fast it is. The orange one's really good, and the green one, the lime green ones are really good. And then there's also this light blue, I don't know what you call it, I just say light blue, baby blue, the dark blue, purple, yellow. So, Rainbow Dian Shanks, mini. I'll probably get the bigger one for, for my birthday. And then, uh, yesterday I got this, I don't know what they're called, these little puzzle cube thingies. I have different logos on it. It's a piece of crap, but my dad gave it to me from one of his uh, suppliers or something. It's Bursa Grid. I'm not sure what that is. I don't know if I should be saying that on YouTube or whatever. <laughs> but yeah, so that's what that is. So yeah, that's my cube collection. Um, my next video will probably be how the uh, QJ 4x4 turns after I leave it. So yeah, have a good day, guys. Thank you.